Hello children, how are you? This is Mrs. Kikani. I'm here with another story. Yes, another story. So please find a place to sit down. Crisscross your leg, hands in your lap. Are you settled down? Okay. Again, I have the same Zen thing with a different story. Remember last time we talked about gratitude? Now this time Zen Pig is going to talk about the wonder we are. Ready? Zen Pig, the wonder we are. Granted the gift. Granted the gift of the sun's first light. Zen Pig sits with a tree, enjoying the sight. He loves that morning sun, the light, and is sitting by this tree, lush green tree. Passers by stop amidst a morning stroll. The people are passing by in a morning walk they see him to curiously ask what's Zen Pig up to on that green grassy knoll? They say what is he up to there? What is he doing there? One said to another I'm not quite sure. The other looked excited and said let's find out more. So they both are going to Zen Pig and going to find out. Excuse us, Zen Pig. Please tell us what you see. Because to us, it appears to be just a regular old tree. To them, it's just a regular old tree. But to Zen Pig, we don't know. He's just sitting there enjoying. Ah, Zen Pig said, a small smile on his face. The tree is just the beginning. There is much more to embrace. He's so happy. When I look at this tree, I see every drop of rain, every ray of sunlight. Every bird it will sustain. That's what the Zen pig sees. He just doesn't see a tree. He sees the raindrop that helped the tree. He sees the sunlight that helped the tree grow. And he sees every bird who will sleep and eat in that tree. That's what the Zen pig sees. Within a glass of water, there lies a cloud in the sky. Within every piece of toast, a farmer on which it relies. So when you drink water, it's not just water. Imagine the clouds who brought the water. And when you eat your toast, it's not just the toast. It's the farmer who helped us grow the grain. Every plant and every being are all intertwined. That means they are all connected. The well-being of all we must bear in mind. We all are connected. The whole of nature is more than it appears. We all are connected. The bees, the flowers, the pollens the trees. We must look closely and keep our minds clear. We need to pay attention. Then we will see the wonder we are. We are our great connection. Even with the stars, we all are connected. Everything we see, we feel, we all are part of the bigger picture. 
no matter what you see, take the time to look close and you will be marveled and amazed by what it will show. When you look at the clouds in the sky, pay attention. Some clouds look like a deer, some looks like a reindeer, some clouds look like a lollipop. You need to pay attention and see how far the imagination can go. Namaste. The light in me loves the light in you. Did you like this story? I like it. It says the wonder we are. Next time when you go to the park, when you're swinging in the, on the swing, your feet are going up, pay attention, feel the air, feel the breeze, look at the trees and in the trees, sometimes you can find some birds and sometimes some bees. Be careful, don't go close to the bees, but you can look at them from far away. When you're walking on the grass, pay attention, some wild flowers, sometimes some ants, again, move away from the ants, don't step on them. Home. There's so many things to 